Hello everybody, my name is Ross and welcome back to Mortal Shell. So I decided to make a series out of this game and just like keep posting and playing until I finish it. Uh, just because this game actually like really kind of impressed me and I, as soon as I basically finished the episode, which was like a first look at the game, I wanted to get back into it. So we're gonna play this game from now on, it's gonna be an according series on my channel for a while until we finish it probably. Uh, three, four uh, episodes per week, I would say, because I do want to do other stuff. On a max, three to five episodes per week, uh, but I do want to do other stuff besides this. So I'm trying not to basically upload it every single day because I do upload every single day. Uh, currently, like the concept, like having a like another body, basically, and I think in the future we're gonna find like other people's body that like are like a lot more powerful than this one or they have like different abilities than hardened it's currently can use this but i think i'm going to be able to use other stuff um and i kind of want to get used with it and i kind of want to play it it's just overall like it feels good also i think i made a mistake i was thinking this game it's like uh, like out on early access just because i didn't double check but this game is basically available on epic store they seem to be available on Steam currently, but I think in 2021 they're planning to release it for Steam as well. So if you want to buy it on Steam, then you can take it. Uh, but right now, if you want to take it, take it on Epic Store. I usually not. I don't think you can actually put a link in the description for the Epic Store, so you can find it on your own by searching for it. But like I usually put the link for Steam. So our current objective is to go up there. There was someone up there that might we need to fight or we might have an objective with it. I just went that path last time. I kind of wasted time, I guess, because I wasn't supposed to. And also, let me have my mushrooms ready so I can heal. Okay, let me try to remember a little bit how to play. I mean, it's kind of like a Dark Souls game, so... Just kill them all before they kill you and... Avoid attacks and dodge. Hello, friend. I have something for you and it's the back end of the sword. Okay, this game does have a little bit of a range, so I should try to abuse that. Like, you don't really need to be really close range to be able to attack. You can attack like using like the long range in your advantage. Okay, let's use the bear trap. Okay, he's trying to like lure me into the bear trap, but I'm not that stupid, I see it, okay? I'm gonna lure you into the bear trap, come on. Come on. Come on, come on, ooh, come on, your bunny ass about to fill my sword, yes, look at, take this bitch, Ugh. oh, he's not dead, okay, that, that's surprising, I was like really heavy attack and like followed by a combo, combo do with, with, oh, shit, trap, <laughs> oh no, oh no, okay, it's, I, I saw that one, I just like walked into it and I was all, <laughs> okay, so I think we need to go up here, okay, be careful with the bear traps, is there any big dude up here? I don't see it. Okay, cool. I think this game is also having boss fights, but... We'll see. Ouch, 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 that almost killed me. Oh, I'm dead now. Okay, let me go back in my body. Let me go back in my body. Oh, no, I'm dead. <laughs> I'm completely dead. Okay. That was my bad, my bad, my bad. Uh, we're gonna go again. I might do a little bit of cuts here and there when I die like this. I might just like resume where I left off so we can make a little bit of progress. So I'll see you guys in a moment. Okay guys, so I'm back here. So the idea it's like the small cuts that we're gonna do and cuts overall. It's gonna be just because I don't want you guys to see basically just me going back and forth, right? So we're gonna try to keep it where I'm doing actually progress and I'm not dying. Because we'll have to fight the same type of enemies over and over again, right? Even if we... Um, even if, if I cut or not, like basically if I don't cut I need to fight the same enemies, right? So what's the point in you to see that? So we're just gonna like try to skip those parts where I die like an idiot. And I mean, you're gonna probably see me die like an idiot, but... But the idea it's like to to be able to like shorten up stuff. Because if they're gonna be boss fights and stuff, I'm gonna die. I still don't use the harden mechanic at all. Like I'm used to dodge and stuff and I learned that the heavy attack it's not really good to do. Like it doesn't do too much damage, so I don't see any point to use it. Okay, found something there. It's my mushrooms there. Okay, so 
I was thinking this is the way that I'm supposed to get. We're supposed to get somewhere up there, but apparently not through this part. There's nothing to climb here, right? Nope. So I think I need to go around. Okay, cool. So maybe last time I was going the right way, but I was just lost in a mom on a point because I didn't know where to go. Chest is locked. I think I saw two chests until now and they're like both locked, so I don't know exactly how to unlock them yet. I see something over there. More mushies. Yes. Okay, so I, I, I can... I think I can use just to... Hello? <laughs> I heard a noise. Oh. I don't know what's that, but I don't want to say hi to it. Okay, let's, let's try to open this door. Maybe we can go through here. Oh, it's actually open. Okay. Fulgrim Tower. So I guess our main objective is to get into Fulgrim. Oh. Are you an enemy? Oh no. Awaken sister. Do I wanna? Pray. Oh. What wayward spirit beckons? Hello. <laughs> I shall name you family. And you may call me Sester Janessa. Sester. Oh, that's interesting. You are in the Raphael's mysteries. I see. What a curiosity. I think a sister or sister is like, like Ukrainian, sure. but I'm not sure. You've awakened him, but you know nothing of him yet. Fetch me one of his mementos and some tar too, and I'm sure we can stir up some recollections. Okay. Of course, first you must find his name. Senseless muttering. Sip the divine tar, no. Uh, why not? Um, I don't have enough glimpses. No, I don't have enough tar. Okay, let me get some more tar. Okay, so tar, it's like you get tar when you kill enemies. I'm not sure exactly what's tar, but... I was like going to say, oh, tar is like, oh, actually, I don't know exactly what's tar, right? We need to get tar. Okay, so we can just like, maybe just like awaken some type of powers or just like the body we're using maybe it's like having skills and stuff like that I, I don't know man it's to me it's confusing but like the game itself like the concept and everything like it's really fucking interesting like I played similar games with Arsels before and there are like a few games like that actually are good and do like do good to the series to Dark Souls basically okay can we we can expect those again like what's the point like do we see do we see like where we need to go with like some glimpses of what we need to do? Oh, hello. Oh, you look like a boss. Or maybe those are bodies. Oh, so yeah, it actually makes sense. So this is a location of bodies that we can find, right? That would make sense. So should we watch it again? I am not able to tell too much shit where this is. So this is similar, like this is the path that we have to follow. I guess we just go straight. We're just gonna find his body. And then we can take him? I, I don't know, man. <laughs> I see I have something above my health bar, but I don't know exactly what it means. Okay, I'm curious where this leads. Crawl. Hello. Oh shit, it's a big dude. Um, okay, I don't want to fight that guy. Oh no. Oh no, we're, we're again in the middle of the shit storm where, where I died last time, I think. This is bad, you know? Let me run. I knew that's gonna come, so... Avoid it like a pro there. Okay, let's try to get into like an open area where I actually can get like uh Maybe kill a few of them, I don't know. Have I been through here now? It's confusing. So if I keep this path forward, I think this is what I saw, right? Like if I keep this path forward, I should get to the tower. And then I should get to like a new body. Okay, let's kill this. Let's kill these fuckers. This guy goes down well. The problem is the big dude. Oh shit. I don't know how to avoid those. I'm gonna run. Uh, 
I'm gonna run into a camp of those fuckers again. Okay, how do I get checkpoints in this game? That's one of the things, because I, I know there's like the faces and stuff, but... Oh yeah, I forgot about this one. Nope. I remember this one now. Um, 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 nope. Okay, so basically, they're like different... Shit. I, I've been through here. That's what I mean. That's what I'm trying to say. I've been through here. Okay. Run. So I'm just I'm just trying like a new goal should be trying to find like a new checkpoint and a way to heal myself because I don't I don't know how to heal myself. Like I'm not able to use any of that. Oh I have enough tar now. Hmm. I need the 250 tar to do something to that lady. Is it through here? I think it's through here, right? No, this is a different camp. Shit. Is it a different camp? I think it's a different camp. Oh shit, the big guy is still following me, dude. What the hell? Oh no. No, 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 this is not... Me not like this. Me not like this. Oh, this game is gonna be a pain in the ass until I'm figuring out like what, like to pull the strings basically and where to go and where not to go. Can I open that? Or oh, it's locked. Okay, let's see. How do we heal and why cannot we... Can we not heal? Okay, what's that? Oh, I good, you good. I'm I'm poisoned. <laughs> no, why did I do that? I'm dead. No, oh. maybe I can poison myself and get back to my body. Is that it? Nope, I'm dead. <laughs> Holy fuck, man! I know I cannot recover my tar. And mm, mm, mm. okay, guys. So I know what I'll do. So I'll go back. I'll I'll recover. I I get 250 tar, and we're gonna speak with the lady, and then we're gonna see what else we can do. But like, if I don't get why the checkpoints are so goddamn rare. Oh no, we we actually oh we got a checkpoint next to this lady. Okay, cool. Okay, so we can continue. So, um, I think I'm still gonna cut. Sh shut up! I don't have 250 tar. Okay, I wanna I wanna see if I get 250 tar. What what's gonna happen, right? So I'm gonna do a little bit cut here, I'm gonna go collect 250 tar, I'm gonna have to fight some people and I'm gonna come back to this lady and then we're gonna see what we can do, okay? So there should be some people around here, so we shouldn't have problems with that, so I'll be right back. Okay guys, so I'm back, I got like two, 250 tar, now let's see what we can do with this. Yep, sip the divine tar, okay, let's try to sip them and let's see what's gonna happen. A to obtain, I need to hold that, okay. That's the noise of me drinking the divine tar. That's correct. Okay, so what now? So, uh, Haros the Vassal. The brigades pointed up toward the temple, stunned by the devouter. Okay. I don't know what the fuck is this. Okay, so I think if we get more tar, we can kind of like get our upgrades from here, right? Like a recollection on death, of death, regain the last chance upon defeating enough foes. Uh, hardening lasts for twice as long upon being broken. That's really good. Uh, killing two enemies in quick succession resets your hardened cooldown. That's nice. Okay, I need to learn to use hardened because I don't use it currently. I think that's like my biggest problem with the big enemies. Like the dudes that like are fucking me up. It's I don't use hardened against them, and they. They probably needs to be. They probably need to be defeated by using Harland. Okay, so I'm gonna try to beat the big guys, which that means I'm gonna need to go here. It's gonna be a small guy and it's gonna be a big enemy, so I need to kill the f small guy first. Okay, I got shot at. Shot it. I got shitted at as well. Okay, let me let me kill the. Oh my god, there are more here. I, I forgot about that. Ouch. Okay, I don't think this is gonna go too well. I'm just gonna say it now. Okay, I'm down. Uh, I don't have mushrooms as well. Mushrooms. 
Okay, that guy should be dead. There are two more guys and a big guy. Um, 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 friends. Oh, there's one more guy, my, one more guy behind me. Uh, they don't let me. I cannot dodge through them. I cannot dodge through them. Okay, I think the best way they harden as well. So I think the best way here is to run and then recover my body when they don't look. <laughs> Man, oh, I use harden by mistake. The enemy use harden. Okay, cool. How do I fucking dodge this, guys? I'll be honest, this game is actually hard. Like, it's actually, like, really, really challenging. Uh, I need to run past, past them, obviously. I don't think I'm gonna make it to that tight spot there. Okay, guys, so, editing the episode 2, basically, I realized that there is an area in this actually place I did not check. I did not go upstairs at all. That was because I don't know why I was thinking at the moment, and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna record this, uh, and I'm gonna add, like include it into the final episode. So basically, I never checked this upper area here, and it's possible to be more stuff, and also because I'm just like editing. Oh, what the fuck? Hello? Oh, hi! What the hell are you? And also because I'm editing stuff like and shit like that, it's gonna. I noticed that the episode is like a little bit cut short anyway. Um, because of me and dying and just like keep going around. So it looks like we have um, stuff here. A workbench. Okay. Upgrade for hallowed sword. It required a mechanical spike. Okay, so if you find like mechanical spike, mold and spike, quencinic acid, we can come back here and we can upgrade this um, stuff. Okay, that's interesting. That's good to know, that's good to know. Looks like we have some weapons as well that we can sense instinct. I guess this instinct is kind of like a, um, a way for us to like, kind of like tell you where you need to go. I think they're like these warriors that they went a certain path, maybe they died and they need to take their bodies or maybe like they're a boss fight, I don't even know. Or maybe they're like their weapons that I can collect. Like it seems to be three weapons here and I think it belonging to like three people maybe and we can just like get them from there and like their body oh just thinking for a second that's gonna happen like something different yeah it looks like this this type of vision is more like just hey look if you go this fucking way you're gonna be able to kind of to like find a weapon I, I, that's what I'm thinking okay let's try to maybe interact with this guy what the hell are you, man? Remove seal. Do I wanna? Okay, let's do it. Why not? Maybe we can use the seal because I saw something similar on the workbench, right? Acquired item. Tarnished seal. That's better. Both symbol and weapon. The seal rusted. It's been so long is rusted and filthy. Okay. I'm kind of different and weird. I have little to offer you, save for that tarnished seal in your hands. A small gift, but I expect you will find it useful. So this guy was kind of like changed here and deep within the temples of the devout, buried here. You'll find the sacred glands of the revered. Bring the glands back to me. Okay. So I can extract the true nectar. Just enough to heal me. Perhaps you two can use it to free yourself from this wretched land. Before you end up like me. Okay. So I guess if we bring that to him, he's gonna like kind of release himself. I'm sure if he's gonna be a boss or something, but yeah. Okay, so... LB to parry. The old prisoner has gifted you a tarnished seal. It enables you to parry enemy strike, interrupting their attacks. The seal will also warn you of incoming like, on parry, on parry ball attacks. Look, see? That's like a fucking key thing that I miss, and if I would start like grinding the game without this, then I'd be boned. The old prisoner has infused the seal, giving you parry and the ability to leave an enemy vulnerable to empowered repost. This requires great resolve to harness such an infusion, performing an empowered uh, repost will heal you. Oh damn! 
uh, LB2 parry, so left left button and right button in power post resolve, okay. So see like this this game also has like a mechanic like secular then, right? Because we can block and then we can like repost. And explains this stuff here, right? Like some stuff regarding the seal. Tarnished seal drones. Yeah. So it, see, like if I wouldn't go back here and just like go up here, then I would just be like in the third episode, I'd be like a dumbass, just like running around. Now I have like a better ability to find people. So next time when we play, or at least when I'm grinding, first I'm gonna try to actually play and see if I'm able to do better. Actually, let's try it right now, why not? See how I fare now against enemies that I have like a new ability. Of course I need to get used with that, but... We'll see. Also, we can see their attacks incoming. I mean, I guess the ones that like, are not dodgeable or some shit. Get a big guy. Oh. Oh, oh, I forgot to pull it. Okay. <laughs> okay, I was trying to block that, but I don't think that was a good idea. Okay, I don't understand how it works so far. Oh, well. And I'm fucked. Back into the realm of reality, I guess. <laughs> okay, guys, so... Try to retrieve my body if possible. I think I have like one more chance, like if I die again, okay, blocked it, okay, cool. It's just like a perfect timing thing, I guess. Like you can block if you perfect time. Uh, okay, fuck you guys. I need you to die. Oh, I missed. Uh, I don't know exactly how I block using my seal. Like how, how I counter again it was like you press this and this, right? Oh, maybe you just like perfect timing it. Okay, you guy, come here. Oh, well, I'm fucked. And I died. Okay, but it's interesting enough, like now we just have to like master it and stuff. But yeah, I'll leave it to the continuation of like Ross in the past so he can take on from here. Okay, guys, so if we go, what I'll do for now, I'm back. I think I'll do a, like a little bit of uh, just like a little bit of scouting for the time that we have right, like left. Which is basically I'm gonna take a look around, see what else I can find. And after I'm done like scouting and we're done with this episode, I think I'm gonna do some like on my own grinding. Like I'm gonna become a little bit stronger, like just by grinding the same area, like this area you already saw. So it's not like mo nothing to nothing much to see basically. So I'll kind of just grind like a few enemies, get more thar, get a little bit of upgrades and stuff like that, so we can. You know do more progress and after i'm done with that uh i'm gonna like basically resume recording and we're gonna like episode episode we're gonna do like episode three oh, i have time uh i know we have problems speaking that i guess because i'm attacked oh my god like these guys are not so tough i, I don't know why like i'm having such a like like a difficult time with a swing like these guys they do small swings and their swing is like faster than mine and I need to do like this huge ass swings and like for me it's hard to get in combat with that like I don't get the rhythm that's why I keep getting hit uh, okay go back into my body the good part is if you recover your body you can like, go like full HP okay the big guy is here that's great okay let's try to just pass through here and see where we can land Okay, these guys are like really strong, like they have people that like crossbow your ass and they have like people that like, you know, they kind of like, oh my god, the frogs, they have poison as well now. Shit, of course. Okay, that's easy to pass. So, like the, the way you see some stuff in this game as well is like you have a familiarity, like if you use an item like for... Um, for multiple times like you you can like unlock that effect which is like i think they'll like do something different but i'm not sure okay i remember this camp but do i want to go through here like i i don't think i don't see oh, actually can we go up there nope we cannot these guys are having fun and they have good music in there good music yes that's english good good to be fair i don't know where to go and i don't want to kind of get poisoned again 
There's like a big dude here. Okay, let's crawl through here. Uh, I'm just kind of like exploring right now, but it's really like I said, it's really hard. Like you, you really need to do some grinding before you can like move freely through the world, I guess. Become a little bit stronger. Okay, I don't know what's this, but I'm curious. Let's go for it and then probably we're gonna end up this episode there. A little bit of progress, not too much, but you know, it is what it is. Choosing to renounce all shells forsakes your connection to mortality. You will play the rest of the game without a shell. Your connection to the shells will be severed and you will lose all progress made with your shells. Renounce all the shells? No. I don't want to do that. Why would I want to do that? It's like just basically just going 100% hardcore, right? Like you're just gonna play w without any kind of ability, I guess, or anything like that. Uh, but yeah, I guess I guess that's it. We're gonna we're gonna stop here. Huh? Uh, I didn't do too much progress, but I think I'm gonna have to grind on my own, as I said, because it's too much to just like include into one episode. The grinding, only if it's gonna be like a speed up episode or something like that. Okay, we can destroy that. That's interesting. Okay, we find some slurry, slur, slurry of tar. So I guess that's gonna give us tar, right? Cool. But yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this and you want to see more, don't forget to support. And yeah, so far I enjoy this, but like I said, I, I think I need, I'll need to do a little bit of grinding because I think the tar is gonna basically unlock like new abilities and stuff, and I'm gonna be able to hold my own. That guy saw me, and I'm gonna die if he's gonna attack me. But yeah, um, as always, if you enjoyed this, don't forget to support. I know I'm repeating myself, and I'll see you in the next one. Uh, bye! -bye.